One. You're great. You're great. You're great. You're great. You're great. You're great. Steve, you're great. Steve. Thanks, guys. You guys are great too. Yes. Thanks. That's Thank what you. We wait for it. We oh, just say people are great so and see how long it takes. Some to be people great. just. Stare I want to be involved. Yeah, you're involved. All right, good. <laughs> like, I want to be. Involved. Welcome to the Hug Life Podcast. I'm Monica Nevy, and I'm Mike Coletta, and this is our podcast. I see what you guys did there. <laughs> you see it? Hey, who do you want to be? Which one of us? Other two. If you had to choose who to be out of the two of us, who would it be? Ooh, pick Monica. She's way cooler. I want to be Monica Coletti. That's good. Not a good yeah. Coletti, I like Quick it. on my feet. Hi, Dios mio. Um, welcome to the Hug Life Podcast. Uh, if you guys would love to. Uh, would love to. Oh, jeez. If you would love to. Oh, crap. <laughs> uh, <laughs> if it's not love, don't do it. <laughs> if it's only love. Uh, let's plug our shows before we do anything else, because I always forget that. Okay, so this weekend I will be featuring for John Lovitz at Ooh. Tacoma Comedy Club. Big John Lovitz. Yep. Uh, and then. And Sun. No. I don't I have a show. On Sunday. Steve, you go. You, you plug I am going to be doing the dating game show at the Tacoma Comedy Club on Thursday night, TCC. I heard someone else is doing that here at this yeah. table. It's me. Yeah. So they're gonna. Ha- are you doing the dating game part of it as well? Like, are you? Is it gonna be dudes instead? Yeah. Because so you're, you're into dudes. Yep. Yep. So, so there. So yep. Ton we of do dudes. Stand up, and then we play a dating game. Would you actually go on a date with one of these guys? Well, we'll see. Dude, I'm excited. I to hear have. <laughs> <laughs> I have uh, we'll see how attractive they are. I have <laughs> gone on t- dates with one, two, maybe two guys that have approached me after shows at Tacoma Comedy Club. So you never know. Really? You know? Did yeah. You go on second dates with them? One of them. Yeah. Oh wow. How about a third date? Oh, with that guy. Date. How about a twentieth? We date? might have made it to you three. I married? think that was it, though. Really? Are you married? Are you yes. married now? No. No. Just I have a girlfriend. Divorce. But for the integrity of the dating game show, you will I will cheat on her. <laughs> 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 Just for the integrity of the show. For the sake of the show, <laughs> I, I had to do it. This is no. Yeah. Yeah. She knows this when she signed up. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> She uh, signed up. Is I, that I, how you I, do I, relationships now? You yeah, sign you up. Sign ups. Yeah, put me down <laughs> for a while. <laughs> you guys didn't have a waiver. My girlfriend made me sign a waiver. A Am waiver. I doing this wrong? <laughs> <laughs> like what? If he gets hurt, it's his fault. Yeah. So that's <laughs> <laughs> I have to wear a helmet in the bedroom. Why is this okay? Um, well, that was dumb. Yeah, uh, I also the thing I looked at on the Sunday, which is actually important for people to remember, Sunday's Mother's Day. That was why I was confused oh, on the sh- calendar. Yes. Don't forget that. Yeah. So I figured like, this is a good plug to say. Mother's Day, Sunday. Yeah. Take care My of your mom's mom. birthday is on Saturday, too. Oh, that's oh, a double man. whammy. She's a birthday, and then Mother's Day. You're going to be out here, though, yeah? Yeah, I'll have to phone call. Is it like that every call year? Call or like sometimes is it like her birthday is the weekend before or the weekend after, or is it every year it's It's a good question because mm-hmm. they kind of. I don't understand how. Change things around sometimes, don't yeah. they? My mom's birthday is on Valentine's Day, which makes it really weird. Girlfriend huh. gifts. Yeah. My friend, <laughs> my good friend's mom died on Valentine's Day Oh. when he was like eight. But that's not a topic for the Hug Life <laughs> podcast. <laughs> we can turn it around somehow. It's totally a topic. Um, also, don't forget to rate, review, and subscribe to us on iTunes. It does help. I learned that. It actually does. It makes a difference if you have reviews. And not only that, people subscribe to you. Did so you say where else you were going to be? Well, I don't even know if that's going to actually happen now. So I don't know. Break Yakima. News. It's supposed to be in the Yakima. Oh, uh, why is the it laugh not happening? Yakima. I don't know. I was told on Sunday that they are not doing that hotel is not doing it anymore so they're trying to find another location <laughs> we need to talk to yeah that's good like, to know well, you, yeah. um, you gonna okay. get me my money <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and now yeah. the hug life podcast must collect grab your crowbar <laughs> <laughs> must collect. so hey. it'll be interesting <laughs> hey i want the money for steve <laughs> So we sent Mickey Mouse to get it. <laughs> that was it. That'd be terrifying if a giant anthropomorphic mouse crowbarred you to death. Um, Facebook, like us. That'd be great. Um, also, um, uh, we're on Stitcher. Love us. We're on Stitcher. That's and a love uh, button. follow Monica on Twitter at Monica Nevy. Mm-hmm. And you can follow Steve at uh, Epa Gillespie. Yeah. I do might have to change that. It seems. Did, is your name not? Is your name taken? I don't know. My I name's maybe. taken. I'm you just went for a because different. It, it really bothers me a lot. Like yeah. every day I wake up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mine's Epic Gillespie. And how would you spell that? Epic Gillespie? Yeah. Um, well, E P I and then Gillespie, your last okay. name. Okay. All right. You passed. G I L L. may think an A. E S P I E. Nothing but love for you, buddy. Is that perfect? perfect? Did I nail it? Perfect. Yes. Good work. <clears throat> Good spell. Write that down. That's all I got. Yeah. Go back. Go back. Spelling. Go back. Rewind so and then write it down. <laughs> at Epa Gillespie. Yeah. E P I Gillespie. 
And then at Monica Nettie, at me, Coletta. Um, and now we're going to talk to our guest, Steve Gillespie. <laughs> <With> Coletta. <laughs> at the Coletta. <laughs> at the Coletta. <laughs> 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 what if we all changed it so you didn't Monica feel so Coletta. alone? Monica like, Coletti. Let's do it. it. My Twitter tag was Epa Coletta. I think Denick. I think Chad Denick did that. I think he had Epidenic. Epidenic? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. For a while. He, oh, he's always copying me. Look at Chad yeah. getting a selfless <laughs> plug on our podcast. <laughs> Damn it. Damn it, Chad. I've been trying to keep him out of he's this. He's asked me about 36 times today how the podcast has gone. <laughs> 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 it's going great, Chad. <laughs> it hasn't even Stop started. Stop texting us. <laughs> um, uh, Steve, you're in town. You just did the Parlor Seattle with Brent Burns. How was that? Was that fun? It was fantastic. I... Um, yeah, I really enjoyed it. And I hadn't met Brett before that, and uh, I was a little worried that I wasn't going to enjoy him just based on what the small you know, sample size of what I saw him because we had not met each other. And, and partly because I don't know anybody like him. There's not uh, big, loud Italian East Coast guys in, in Wisconsin, Wisconsin? In <laughs> Wisconsin <laughs> Minnesota, Minnesota, where I grew up. So, <clears throat> But he was just a saint, man. He was he's great. He was a delight. He was really nice. He was really nice. I mean, he's definitely an abrasive... Yeah, <laughs> you know, aggressive dude, but he was uh, very genuine, genuine and smart. He was a smart guy. I thought. I, I yeah. that's what I came. No, he, yeah, he wasn't he like was a, even though he can come across, I think, as a kind of a muscle head. You know, he was uh, an intelligent dude. I call a smarty pie instead of a sweetie pie. <laughs> <laughs> and then and, and then smart and like tickle his chin when he did a little smarty, smarty pie. pie. <laughs> and then it's impressive too. Is like. It just shows you with comedy, like if you're good at stand up, you can do any room. It doesn't matter. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? As far as like, because you guys had that show, a great show, by the way. The, the uh, super Thank secret stand up show? Yeah, it was S5? so fun to do. Um, but I was yes, I was interested S5. to see how he was going to do in it. Yeah. And uh, he did great, I no, thought. He was, yeah, he was great. <laughs> yeah. And we've had a wide range of comedians come to that room. Like, we have, we, like, Tony V came. Mm -hmm. And I was nervous about that, too. I'm like, I don't know if the East Coast style is going to, like, transfer he over and he crushed, crushed. <laughs> like he, he murdered that room oh he my was gosh. so awesome bobcat too it was really fun and like oh wow you guys have had a lot of big names i mean steve gillespie well, those bobcat were the two. those were the two <laughs> <Bobcat Goldman. laughs> right steve two. and bobcat are the two so <laughs> i would love to do if i'm ever around again i would love to do that show absolutely do you guys do it every week we do no, it once a month once a month once a month makes it up. special. If we did it every week, it wouldn't feel special. Well, you guys will. You guys could cover my airfare next time around. Oh, for sure. Yeah, okay. I mean, we got yeah. pretty close this time. I so mean, <laughs> as long as you're fine with like four or five stops, <laughs> <laughs> that'll just be our <laughs> charity. <laughs> like, could I get a thirty dollar flight if I <laughs> if it took two days? <laughs> yeah. Stop like nine times. You <laughs> go <laughs> backwards <laughs> like three times. <laughs> thirty dollars. You go to All like right, Vancouver and then Portland. In Wichita. In Wichita, <laughs> the Boise. I could just drive from Portland to Seattle. Nope, you got to go back. <laughs> <laughs> Backwards. You got to go back to Portland, Maine, and then go to the other ones. Um, yeah, the Super Secret Santa show was super fun, and I had a good time, and we did it a little different. We co-hosted it, and that was exciting. Yeah. We hadn't done that before. No, that was You guys fun. did what differently? We co-hosted it. You were. I don't think you were there yet. Oh, right okay. Now, but we, we both went up and kind of did a little thing, and it was fun, and... I'm really happy with it, and I'm looking forward to the next one. And that Aaron girl was on there last on the show, right? Yeah, Aaron she something. was on Aaron Ingle. Yes. Yes, I did an open mic. Funny story. Can I tell one? Yeah, absolutely. You can tell anything. You can tell. Okay. Uh, your deep dark secrets. Are you guys ready? Nope. Don't tell your thoughts. <laughs> tell me. Uh, it was really funny last night. I went and did a, the Jai Tai open mic, and uh, I haven't done an open mic like that in a long time. In a Thai restaurant. Or just, you know, just where it's all comics. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just not fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> One of those ones and, uh, that's not fun. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, uh, you know, everyone's eating shit, including me. And uh, <laughs> and it's all just like, you know, that's the open mic crowd. Nothing wrong with that. I was an open micer back in the day. And uh, I get it. And uh, But it's just very, you know, dudes that aren't getting laid. Oh, yeah. A lot of dudes that aren't getting laid. And then uh, Aaron. jokes about it. Aaron. So everyone's eating shit. No one's paying attention. Then Aaron gets on stage, and everyone is real focused <laughs> on the show. All those dudes, and every word that came out of her mouth, just, you know, she's getting fucking applause breaks. <laughs> it's not that she's not funny. I'm not saying that at all. She's, you know, from what I've, I've only seen, you know, five minutes of her, but um, it was really funny to see that. Just see all those <laughs> I guess yeah, we'll pay attention. Like, <sighs> <laughs> and then I'm in the back just bitter. Just like, <laughs> I was here once. Should, <laughs> should have unbuttoned my shirt more. Just Fuck. bitter that she's got a better response to me. <laughs> did she she followed me on Twitter, and I did not follow her back because of that. Whoa! No I'm strong kidding. words coming out of from Epic Gillespie. <laughs> 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 you feel it? 
but it was funny to see that. It really does remind me. Open mic politics or open <laughs> mic. My laundry's done. <laughs> Steve's doing laundry is it here. Denver, is it on fire? Why is that the noise that it makes? He's doing Steve. laundry here in the Hug Mansion. That's what he's doing. I'm going to go change it. Every ghetto is a Hugs Mansion. <laughs> Do you guys want to pause it? Or we, uh, why don't you guys just roll yeah, with it? You guys just roll. A little laundry prof. <laughs> yeah, no problem. <laughs> lawn prof. Any, any <laughs> lawn prof. Yeah. I, I don't think it's done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy we're doing this. Please tell Tell us, it's still moving. Is it locked? Oh, does it beep more oh. than once? Oh, you know what? It's the dryer that went off. We got a whole nother dinger bell. I am not. When my clothes are done, I am not waiting one second. You'll take your undried clothes out of the dryer and put mine in. Dude, I don't blame you. You just, you just yeah. put them in that together. When I forget and it sits in there forever. It's the worst. Yeah. I <laughs> say this is the first live laundry podcast we're That's doing. <laughs> we just did chores while we podcasted. I was thinking about that today, yeah, actually. Clean. In my podcast, I just have uh, the guest comes over to my house and he does chores. Does your laundry. Does my <laughs> chores in my house. Yeah, and I just talk to him. I put a microphone in his face. <laughs> you just follow him around with the microphone. <laughs> this is the toilet portion of the show. <laughs> it's like, oh, wait, we're here for the new segment, Toilet Time. <laughs> <laughs> toilet Time. Oh, <laughs> it's toilet. toilet Time. We're talking about what's in my toilet. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a little song. That sounds fun. <laughs> the cleaning I like it. Podcast. I think it's a good idea. <laughs> I went to uh, Eugene, Oregon, and did a charity show. Oh yeah, how that go? Very positive. It was a lot of driving. I yeah. Realized five hours down, and then I couldn't do the full five hours back. I took a. I stopped a in bitch. Portland. Yep. Stopped in Portland, took a little relax, and nice. stopped at a friend's place. But they gave me gnocchi, and the next day I had pancakes. It was like a crazy gnocchi. Food. What's that? Uh, gnocchi is like a potato pasta, like Italian. Yeah, it's like a little. It's oh, really, it's so that's, good. That's ganache. Yep. Ganache. <laughs> that's how I say that. that. Hey, you know, Portland, they're known for their ganache. Ganache. Give me some of that ganache, friend. Um, I, but I did that. The show was great. The show was awesome. Amy Miller was on the show, uh, Dex Jordan. Um, and a bunch of people. I, I, I I'm really bad with names. I'm so How sorry. How was the actual show? Were there the a lot show of people was really there good. They, were, they sold out. And the it theater. was for it was uh, stand up for mental health. Mental and health. I had something amazing happen at the show where oh, okay. I did my set mm-hmm. and I got off stage and I felt really good. But I'm a little hot and sweaty when I'm sure, done being sure. on stage because I'm out of shape. And I went out the loading door mm-hmm. and then I got yelled at by a crazy guy. He was like, fuck you, Tubby. You're a fucking fight, Tubby. Fuck you, Tubby. <laughs> and I was just like, dude, if you only came in these loading doors, there's so many people that could help you right now. <laughs> <laughs> like, I couldn't. I was like, the irony of this <laughs> situation. This is for you. This is like, for you. you. I'm going back inside. Away. And he walked away and he would like maniacally laugh and turn and then call me Tubby again and then keep walking. And I'm like, if you just went in those loading doors, you'd have all the help you need in your life. <laughs> and <laughs> you walked away from your opportunity, Really my rude. Friend. That's Seems really, really rude. Yeah, I was just like, that's a great... And I saw it live while I was doing that show <laughs> right afterward. But he had not seen your set. No, he had not seen my set. If he'd have seen my set, he would have been like, you funny, tubby motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> What's the worst thing anyone's ever said to you guys after an audience member after you? I like after? The funniest thing. Oh, I was performing at the parlor in Bellevue. It was my first ever guest sets there. Mm-hmm. And I got off stage and this woman shook my hand and she's like, they hated you. <laughs> <laughs> and then she said, but I liked you. And then that she just walked away. <laughs> you were like, thanks, Mom. Thank you, lady, <laughs> for hurting everything wow, in my being. Wow. Hilarious. Um, they yeah. hated, hated you. you, but I liked you. And it was a really long pause between the two. <laughs> like, I'm like, that was really rude. I was in Tulsa, Oklahoma, doing a club there. And that's a weird place because like, it's just like a weird combination of like younger kind of hip people because like, it's kind of becoming a hipper city as far as its population. But then there's Tulsa? like, yeah, then there's like cowboys. <laughs> like, oh, they're cowboys <laughs> everywhere. So it's I get off like stage. I was off stage <laughs> waiting in the lobby, you know. And as people were coming out selling CDs or whatever, and this dude, this big co- older cowboy, big cowboy hat, he's got his holding his lady's hand. Mm. And his wife or whatever, and they're walking out. And he just turns and looks at me. He goes, "Don't quit your day job, boy." <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, Thank yeah. You. <laughs> got it. Thanks. Thank uh, you for but, that. But then he was uh, like, "But I liked you." <laughs> <laughs> but I liked you, <laughs> Monica. What's the worst thing that's been said to you? I yeah. don't. One time. Well, it's always awkward when someone very clearly likes the other person or other people on the show better than you. And I had this woman didn't, most people don't realize it's me at first because it's a girl and are you the girl? I don't know. Uh, And so just standing next to the the other guy and she's just, oh my God, you were so funny. You're so much funnier than everyone else, blah, blah, blah. And she realizes it's me and she grabs my arm and goes, and you were cute. (laughs) 
He's <laughs> <laughs> like, whatever. That's so good. I, I, my least favorite compliment is the good host compliment. That is my least favorite one. Where you're, I'm seeing a show and they come up to you and they go, very funny, very funny. And then they get, shake your hand. They're like, you're a good host. <laughs> they walk off. It's just so hurtful. I don't, I don't like when people tell you that you're better than the other person. I don't like it either. It drives me nuts. Like, it's not. It's like you're just making this into a competition where there is no competition. Exactly. And then you don't know what to say, too. If they're like, I yeah. thought you were so much funnier than the head liner. I'm like, well, I disagree with you. Um, well, yeah. You, or you but just, just say that you liked favorites. me. Why yeah. can't you just say, hey, great job. It's you're like, really funny. People don't know there's a difference between a 45-minute set and a 10-minute yeah. guest spot. So right. They have no idea. Right. Like, yours seemed to go by so much faster. Because <laughs> it fucking was. Yeah. <laughs> it hurts my soul. People are Speaking silly. Speaking of soul hurting, do you guys want to hear some good news? stories mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. first good news story <laughs> you guys ready for this this elderly man apparently punched a bear in the face to save his dog oh, i heard about this guy yeah. you heard yeah. it yeah carl what do you think about carl about hot carl it doesn't get well shit. hot carl <laughs> hot carl <laughs> Um, I don't know. I mean, well, how big was the bear? I need more details. You need more details? Yeah. You should believe it. God, have you figured I mean, if it was like a, just play like a part of that. Club. I also want to let you know it's a chihuahua, so it's not like right. the dog deserves Lacey. saving. Lacey. I mean, if he they're a real bear, they're both the dog and the hot Carl is now dead Carl. Because <laughs> <laughs> a, a real bear is doesn't, you don't punch a bear in the face if it's it a real bear. Interesting. Does it say what kind of bear it was? I was the one to say this, but I forget. It say what kind of bear it was. It just says a bear. And there actually are a disturbingly... Low, what if this guy made this shit up? <laughs> More an ex-Marine. Well, you could be like the American sniper Carl's guy who made crazy. up all this shit. <laughs> Carl's pretty crazy. Was he on top crazy. of the Georgia fucking dome? Punching, punching bears. bears. <laughs> 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 but he's got a friend, apparently, that saw it happen. That's in this video. That says, no, yeah, I saw Carl punch the bear. It must have been a black bear. Black bears don't, aren't yeah. as aggressive. It's you don't think so? I thought black grizzly bears, bears would rip thought, your fucking yeah, I head off. Black bears were more aggressive than grizzly bears. I grew up in Alaska. I don't know. Then maybe Alaska. I don't know. That's why I, I always gonna, thought. I don't want to have a bear debate right now. I'm just curious. <laughs> <laughs> I always thought the grizzly bears were the ones that you didn't want to. They're scary for sure. Yeah, I thought they were the worst. Is that not black true? bears? You can just fuck with them all you want. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's. What, <laughs> see a grizzly bear, you get out of there. You see a black bear, right. throw shit at it or something. <laughs> That'll be fine. <laughs> Let's put a whoopee cushion underneath. Yeah. You can be really sarcastic with a black bear. Like <laughs> black bear just sit down. He's like, "Oh this man, is, this is a great quote, though." You guys stop it. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, I just want honey, and you just keep uh, throwing shit. He's like, I wasn't even going to touch the chihuahua. Why the fuck did you punch me in the face? <laughs> the worst part about this news story is it's a bunch of gifts like stringed together. Do you see this? Yeah, I don't understand. Well, there's a whole video of it, and they picked. Do we get to see it because he says some weird shit. Okay. Are you going to play it? I'm going to play it. Okay. Steve, it goes over your mic. I've never done this before. It's going to get really weird. I hope everyone's ready for it. It goes over okay, his I mic? I won't talk. All right. <laughs> no, Steve, you can talk all you want. <laughs> we, we can't hear you, though. <laughs> oh. This is going to be really loud, probably. So I'm going to turn it down. So... <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Let me turn it up. Only on CBS 13 tonight. Oh, look at that. <laughs> A story like one you've probably never heard. A Foothills man came face to face with a bear outside his home. He didn't run. He didn't call fish and game. Instead, he wound up and he punched the bear in the face. Well, CBS 13's <laughs> Ian Schwartz met up with the man to find out why he did something so crazy. Carl Moore is not a guy who scares easily. The man or beast that I run from ain't been born. And his mama's already dead. He's 73 with a wiry... The man or beast that I run from ain't been born because his mama's already dead. (laughs) That is an exact quote. Carl doesn't give a fuck. What do you guys think about Carl right now? You guys into it? I I just can't. I mean, he's holding... In this video, he's... Holding his chihuahua. He's wearing like a... He's wearing like an almost salmon-colored shirt. And he's holding his chihuahua like it's like a football. And he's the guy that punched <laughs> the bear in the face. Like a he badass. He seems real. Frame, and he's one heck of a character. He's and it turns out, he's also one heck of a bear fighter. I ain't running from nothing. This I no never way have happened. in my whole There's life. no way. <laughs> you think he made it up? Yes. You think it was a dude in a bear suit? Or a guy just wearing a brown shirt and he punched him in the face? <laughs> a hairy dude in a brown shirt and he punched him in the face? Maybe I his friend didn't see my dog. <laughs> Dude, I think there's I another guy that says it's a man. And you're not going <laughs> to <laughs> sacrifice yeah. my yeah. babies 
for some damn bear. And now he replied, he called his chihuahua his baby. So yeah. it's even weirder. That's my favorite. <laughs> The other week, Dad Lacey is. the dog he loves like a daughter started whimpering outside. Carl like ran out, and there it was. A bear who had no idea what world it just stepped into. Carl's world. And I raised both hands in the air, and I cussed at him. Yeah, get out of you, <laughs> <laughs> And he looked at me like, go F yourself. And what happened next? Wait, he swears on the, on the news and then <laughs> censors F? Yeah, yeah. He's swearing and then he, then he changes go F like, yourself. Get out of here, you, you know why? Because the bear actually didn't swear at him, so it probably did think go F himself. He's just getting in the mind of the bear. You got to be the bear to punch the bear. Right? <laughs> right. That's what and then says. what? I mean, you don't just punch a bear and that's it. You don't knock a bear right, out. Right, and it just ran away. <laughs> the bear's like, oh shit, I'm so sorry. Yeah, and it runs off in the woods. He what bullied a bear. A black I think that's what it sounds bear. like to me. Can only be described as insane. <laughs> Carl landed a whirling haymaker, punching the bear right in the face. Barehanded, if you will. Apparently, this is way more exciting than the Manny Pacquiao fight I didn't want. <laughs> <laughs> just watch Come up like bear. this, and he turned. Boom! I hit him hard. <laughs> Tyler said, I damn near corkscrewed his head. We've all heard of a tall tale, <laughs> the fish this big that got away. So was Carl up to it? Well, if you talk to the guy he's known for 25 years, he'll tell you, you bet. Oh, just well, smacks yeah, right. As long Couldn't as believe one friend. Yeah, well, what, what's going on? happened. As long as you they have were, one witness out They were school. high one time and they decided this was a good I'm idea. Crazy. That's John Sargent. He's a friend and an employee with a construction company Carl owns. He says the bear was a bit shorter than Carl, but still a formidable opponent. What do you think the bear is telling his buddies? Stay away from here. <laughs> yeah. Without question. And after talking with these two gritty Do bears have buddies? <laughs> Do they have like friends? Do they live together? Uh, the bears are by themselves. They no. have like families and stuff, right? Or no? I don't think so. I think they live solo. I had a friend that was actually mauled by a bear in Alaska. Really? Yeah, he was uh, doing some sort of surveying, some Is sort of okay? scientific project. Uh, he just got his face like ripped up. Oh, you are like, you should have punched him in the face, you <laughs> wussy. <laughs> <laughs> he had a gun. He had his gun, his, his rifle or whatever, and he, he had it on. It was not loaded. Ah. Oh. Dude, he's he like he said he like saw it. He's like, oh shit! And he put the gun up, and then it was too late. Nothing. Oh, and then no. the bear just trampled him and just kept running. Oh, Ugh. yeah, pretty crazy. Do you guys want to keep listening to this story? It's only got a minute left. Do you want to hear about it? Is there anything crazy else crazy that happens in this one, Monica? He said something at the end, but I don't remember what it is. Well, we're gonna wait and listen to it. <clears throat> and for a while, it's no surprise Carl punched a bear. He's an ex first recon marine. Um, no He's been he in barroom brawls and that is all surprise. kind of stuff. The bear's long gone, <laughs> a 73 and likely in no rush up for another foothill fist fight with the new reigning champ. But if he does return, <laughs> you know Carl will be ready with that right hand. I want to let you know if you're not, because it's a video, is he rushes the camera with his fist like he's going to punch the camera, and it's <laughs> the greatest, slowest thing I've ever seen in my life. This guy's a jerk, but he ain't been back since he got smacked by Carl. <laughs> Carl just referred to himself in the third person. <laughs> he ain't been back since he got smacked by Carl. Uh, can't I like make Carl. Uh, I like how when their neighbors are like hiding people in their basements or whatever, people are like, "Yeah, I didn't see that coming." But when they're like, <laughs> "Carl punched a bear," they're like, "Oh yeah, I could see that." <laughs> yeah, Carl would do that. Sounds like something Carl would do. He's not gonna mow your lawn for free, but he'll punch a bear in the face. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this next story: Nepal earthquake. Ex Paul Tenney grammar student saves 55 orphans. Wow. Oh jeez. Oh crap. Oh shit. Oh no. <laughs> I do that all the time. I forget to turn the volume off. It's all right. Um, yeah. So this guy, uh, he w evacuated 55 children to a veggie patch from an orphanage, like when the earthquake started. Just one dude. I'm like, that's a lot to handle. 55. Where children. were all so, these? Yeah. I mean, yeah, there had to be other people. Well, but. yeah. He also saved a gardener or a painter. Who fell off a ladder? He fell two stories to the ground, and oh. like he saved him too. It was on a ladder. So who was watching the camp? fifty-five orphans? Uh, apparently, no one. They're used to it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 They're used to very little or no parental <laughs> no. supervision. How do you like that? Sorry. <laughs>
I know that make you. Feel <laughs> uh, I already get them sorry, all out there. <laughs> Did you have a little one of those ropes? <laughs> yeah. You guys use that. <laughs> you help kids, right? It, yeah. Yeah, when you cross the street. No, I don't have rope. little kids like that. Yeah, they got a little. Uh, There's like handles on them. So they got to like hold on. It's for like together. preschoolers. <laughs> yeah. So they'll all stay in line. Uh, is that what you do for your job? You help kids. Yeah, I'm an assistant director at like a youth development program, oh, okay. but I have school age kids, so it's like kindergarten to fifth grade. Oh. So, but that's something. Well, hopefully, you use for like preschool students or teenagers. Hey, your laundry's getting close to done. I can hear it. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure the whole thing is getting violent in there. <laughs> it's getting crazy. It's gonna be so I used clean. to work with kids at a Y for one summer. Yeah, how yeah, was that? Yeah, and then a kid shit on my foot. <laughs> <laughs> and that was it for me. Yeah, I do not blame you. I've been in youth development for like seven years. And yeah. I want to kill them all. Yeah, Any, oh yeah. There's, uh, I drive to work sometimes, and I'm like, God, I hope all the kids are dead. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, it's not my <laughs> fault, but I just hope somehow they died. <laughs> yeah, he like, your kid shit his pants, and then I was like, all right, get in the bathroom. I'll go get, you know, we always have spare clothes right. for kids. I'll go get the spare set of clothes. I come in there. He's got his, like, un- shit underwear wrapped around, like, the his big toe, like, just, like, hooked around his big toe. And I'm like, all right, man, here's your clothes. And he flips his foot oh no and then i can see it's like slow motion i can see the under the shit underwear just like spinning and i just like it was like in my mind it was happening so slow but i couldn't react fast enough just splat right on my foot oh, oh yeah God. disgusting and then you're like i want to do this the rest of my life i'm done <laughs> i am done with i am it. outbound um all right here's a good one Homeless man donates 18 cents. Church receives donation. Note. Wait, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, this is Monica's story. I actually haven't read this one yet. You, you haven't read this one? No. Oh, so there's uh, a homeless guy, and he donated money to a church, but it was just 18 cents, but he like wrote him a note and was like, I'm, I don't have a lot of money, but I wanted to donate it anyways. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. Oh, that's adorable, that's I nice. think. But they... Uh, they do something for him. I forget what it is, though. <laughs> you have the computer. <laughs> I know. We're really good at researching our <laughs> stories before we do this. <laughs> ding, ding, oh, ding. man. Well, now I'm just going to hold me, and I, I, can't, I can't find it. I'm, like, sco- I'm going through it as quick as I can. Whatever. We read it, and it touched us. It's getting real windy out It is there. getting really windy out. We might want to close the windows. We have so much close other it. things going you on right now. Figure out what's happening. We have windows. We have uh, <laughs> laundry. laundry going. <laughs> It's crazy. They got, they have left me here. I'm just at the table by myself, just chilling in Hugs Mansion. Oh, you did? Don't cry. Extra rinse is good, though. They're going to be really clean. Hey, extra rinse. You're great. Hey, extra rinse. Keep doing what you're <laughs> Keep doing. Keep doing what you're doing. You're, you're, you're going best. above and beyond there, extra Getting rinse. real positive <laughs> with our washer and dryer. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, we're going to skip to the one that's really good that we I, w- I was excited for. Not to like say other good news stories are bad. <laughs> uh, my good news story is better than yours. year old World War II veteran scores yes. TV in Kansas alumni game. And if you watch this video, which the, the audio is not like anything special, but it's just all these dudes clearly just running in a circle around this old guy. And then like uh, the guys that are coming at him, like on the opposing team, just like fly back <laughs> and stuff, like, and, like pretending like it's pretty awesome. And he's so just like see, giggling as he's running. Like this he, where they've, I they mean, oh, out. they try to fuck. <laughs> like it's an actual play. And then <laughs> he's like in the backfield and they hand it off to him and he's got to get in the end zone and they're coming at him. And he just gets <laughs> stuffed. <laughs> yeah. They're just waiting. They're, they're all like playing nice and then one guy oh, just can't football. deal with it and just I fucking see. tackles the shit. Let's see the guy go flying and rolling over. Oh. He's got some moves though. He's got some juke moves. Yeah. He's going for it. <laughs> it would have been so funny if somebody would have took his flag at like the one yard line. <laughs> and just like, just grabbed his flag. Nice. Throw it down. <laughs> Oh God. The worst part is he doesn't even do a touchdown dance. That's lazy right there. That's lazy. So He's lazy. like, I ran all that way already. I'm going to die now. <laughs> he does look really <laughs> happy. It would be really funny <laughs> right? if for his touchdown dance, really he just happy. threw a handful of Werther's originals in the air. <laughs> that would be the best. <laughs> oh, they all cheered for him, though. That's nice. That's, That's sweet. Nice. That's that sweet good job. news. Monica, what did you do this weekend? <laughs> 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 ran and touched it. What, are you, what are you trying to like compare my weekend yeah. to what he did? He <laughs> All right, he wins, okay? In alumni game. What did you Jesus. do this weekend, Monica? I did a bunch of shows. I was featuring for Jimmy Dore at Laughs. Was it fun? Yeah, it was very fun. What was your favorite part of the weekend? The Super Secret Santa show with me? Yeah. And Steve? Yes. <laughs> Steve yes. No, it was. I was very glad that that went 
well. Mm -hmm. And this is the first time we took donations for whatever charity we were doing, and that actually worked out. We raised raised fifty dollars. Raised some money, huh? We raised. What was the uh, the charity? It was the Nepal Red Cross Society. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we raised fifty dollars. Fifty dollars. That's pretty good. good. That's good. For the show like that, it was a good time. Mm-hmm. Also, I was actually going back to what you're talking about about how things translate to that show because mm-hmm. the late night, mm-hmm. and it's in like a very well, it's in the back of a consignment shop in a very yeah, yeah. Seattle neighborhood. Yeah, like yeah. Vermont, mm-hmm. Is I was really worried too about like dirty stuff, and then you have that joke about eating up the flashlight. That I was <laughs> crying going down on a flashlight. Yes, I was going down on it. I was driving. I was just like fucking <laughs> lost it. It's oh, so funny. That was so. Uh, oh, my man. friend, how that all came out is my friend. I was on the road with <laughs> uh, uh, another the feature, uh, Chris Knudsen from Minneapolis, and he was like. He's like, you, you know what a flashlight is? And I'm like, yeah. And he pulls his out. He had oh, he brought okay. his flashlight on, and he was like, he's telling me that he had to get rid of this thing because he cannot stop fucking his flashlight. <laughs> 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 like, it was like ruining his he's life. Like, I'm so and he wasn't even like trying to be funny. I don't think like he was, he was being so he honest. He needed like sincere like, advice. Yeah, he's about like, will this? you he's take like, it? Will you just take it from me? I'm like, I'm not taking it. I'm not gonna and take he it. He left. His <laughs> purposely his left his flashlight on the bed of the hotel when we left. Oh, he just left God. it there. Oh, he, no. he left it behind. That poor flashlight. That poor flashlight. Heart. Just abandoned that it. Abandoned that poor maid that had to just abandoned find it. it. Oh God. So up. I mean, that's why people leave weird stuff in hotel rooms. It's not that like, oops, we were doing something freaky and we forgot to put it all away. They're so like, like I, this cannot uh, be with me anymore. Yeah. I have to leave plug. this here. He has to stay. Yes. I can't do this anymore. Ass plug. I'm so sorry, ass plug. I have a. G- I have a. I have to go to work, ass plug. <laughs> You know I love you, flashlight, but it's gotta end. <laughs> we can't keep this relationship any longer. We can't do this oh, anymore. Right. Now, flashlights is that in your mind way more disgusting? Like, are male sex toys way more disgusting to you than like a female sex toy? Um, I kind of think that all sex toys are gross. Yeah. Um, but what about a blow up shape? Yeah, <laughs> except, <laughs> except that one. <laughs> Um, That's just a pillow. No. no, I don't know. I d- I think that like in your mind, and I don't know. Maybe I'm the only one that does this, and it could get weird. But <laughs> when someone's like, "Oh, this is what," like you imagine them using it, and I feel like male sex toys is just way more aggressive, and you're kind of like, "Whoa!" Yeah, than, like a yeah, female sex toy, you're like, "Oh, she's just having fun." Like that's what. Yeah, <laughs> I think that's how so- like how so- ugh, society looks at it too. Okay. I think yeah. it's not fair. <laughs> I've it's never, not. It's not. If I've you want to play with sex toys, you go for it. I've but never bought or used a sex toy. I'm pretty. And even not, never even on like another I, lady. Though. No. Another no. lady. Ladies. You've never done that. <laughs> no. Oh man. You've never used a flashlight on your girlfriend. I have never used a, <laughs> 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 used a flashlight. <laughs> Just throwing it at her. Is it working? <laughs> I'm gonna leave it in a hotel uh, room if we don't like it. If we don't like it, <laughs> I got us a I got us a sex toy to play with, and then it's just a flashlight. Like how mad would? Yeah, you're right. <laughs> you're right. It's different. And you yeah. get to hang out. Because so if you're gonna like have a yeah. sex toy to like share as a couple, like it's not gonna be what a flashlight, right? Share as a couple though. Well, people Someone use told vibrators. Me that and maybe stuff, it was like Mitch last night told me that <laughs> there is a there is a uh, type of porn where the lady is just pumping the fleshlight on the gentleman's you know oh. yeah apparently i mean you got the internet so dude what if, <laughs> what if, I, what if, I, use this, what if I use this audio cord and just like hardcore pornography <laughs> sounds for the rest of this podcast? very clearly just a but when you're doing that as a woman now are you moaning you, too like you oh, wouldn't be like so oh yeah, yeah, like, I, I don't know at that point i'm like clearly you guys have run out of things to do so you should maybe not not hang out yeah, anymore I agree with that. <laughs> You guys should stop broing down together. You're not having a good time. <laughs> like, we could do the real thing, or, you know, we could just... No, no, no. I want you to use this flashlight on it. <laughs> this. No, keep your clothes on. <laughs> and she's just like... Right, exactly. Uh, like reading a book in Bored. one hand. <laughs> like, like, just doing laundry in the other. Oh, God. By the way, the dinger bell went off again. Was it the dryer? A dinger bell. Mm-hmm. Or do you need to put your clothes in the dryer? Yeah, it's time. Live stream laundry. <laughs> yeah, it's time. The, la- uh, the new laundry live stream. <laughs> how was your weekend, Michael? 
I had a good weekend. The Eugene trip was fun. And then on Sunday, I saw Avengers. <laughs> How was that? Age of Ultron. Was it everything you wanted it, it to be? It was everything I wanted it to be. It was really good. They're setting some interesting things up with it. You guys should go see it. And then uh, today, though, I have a feel good food review. You do? Yeah. Also, Steve has a lot of change in his pockets. <laughs> <laughs> just doesn't check that before you put. What are yeah. these, by the way? I don't know. Those just appeared there on the table. We get candy that appears yeah, on this I know table. I was supposed to check them, but I did it. <laughs> but it's like a nice surprise. You find some change <laughs> in the bottom of the There's dryer. So That's like a change lot of change. It sounds like a toll booth. <laughs> <laughs> he thought it was a change fed laundry machine. <laughs> with your change in he there. just put quarters in it. <laughs> uh, um, okay. I went uh, today though, and I ate at the restaurant Salumi. Oh, have you have never been there before? I've never been there oh before. my god, well, best! I didn't know you enjoyed it. You partook in the Salumi. Oh saloons. yeah, I call it that. The old saloons. Sat in the back. Uh, I do not have dryer sheets. I am sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry We're going to pause that. the good is the food review trap, for is the em- You got to empty that lint trap out, dog. Otherwise, it's going to start a fire. Is that what happens? Yeah, it's what, I think my lint traps make it really sensitive, so I always empty it. Hey, welcome to the laundry cast. I'm Mike Coletta. The <laughs> laundry cast. <laughs> make sure you. <laughs> it's like uh, our public sure service announcement. Make sure you safe bleach when you sure it with colors. Clean your lint I'm trap. I'm terrible about. Clean your lint trap. Is that a euphemism? Mm-hmm. It might be the title of the clean podcast. <laughs> clean, clean your lint trap. Your lint trap. <laughs> <laughs> Very well could happen. It's, it's maybe. What if you call the flashlight the lint trap? How can you not? You clean uh, the clean your flashlight. Bounty dryer. Clean sheets? your flashlight. I actually. What about static? Don't you? Doesn't static just? Dude, I just. just irritate you? <laughs> I, get, I enjoy static. I just shut my face in the laundry right after I get this done. You like static? I like static. You have getting zapped a little bit. I don't like it. I just it's like clingy. I just don't like it. When I'm not punching my bears space. in the face, I'm getting zapped by my laundry. <laughs> so that's how, that's how I live my life. I'm Carl, I'm a badass. I don't use laundry. <laughs> Carl doesn't use laundry sheets. Soap. Laundry sheets. Do I do. Yes. Yeah, I I yeah. put like three in at a time. Oh, I think really? that's way more than you need. I know, but I I do. <laughs> static <laughs> man. You're like static bros, the worst. It's the worst. Least favorite television show, Static Shock. I hated that show. That's Is that a real show? <laughs> That's a television show about a cartoon uh, about a kid who has static electricity powers oh. and he flies on a sewer grate. Wow. Yeah. So I'm just going to leave you guys. Yeah, I was going to say, did anyone <laughs> else watch <laughs> that ever? So we go ahead and go home now? Nope. Okay. You know you live here? <laughs> I'm going to go into my room and <laughs> <close the door. laughs> You guys live here now. <laughs> Steve's the host now. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I think clean the lint trap. Clean your lint trap might be clean your lint trap. <laughs> Only because it's the, or it might just be called the laundry cast because this is kind of kind of a weird dynamic. Of the show. <laughs> clean your lint trap. Someone do laundry during it. We might start doing other household chores while we're doing it. I'm gonna bring my laundry over here next time. I'm gonna make care. our next guest do my dishes. <laughs> yeah. Happens? We got a long enough cord. Show idea. <laughs> we got long enough to just keep it. We'll get we get like a lapel mic and you can just you can just walk around with it. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> um. So I, you the had food, salumi, yeah. Oh yeah, salumi. So I told Steve about it when I picked him up today, but <laughs> of course you did. Uh, yeah. I told hey, how him. was your day? Well, there was well, this I sandwich. Ate a sandwich <laughs> and it changed my life. <laughs> I actually got uh, so salumi is a restaurant that do cured meats. It's mostly like salami things like that. Yeah. They do a lot of other ones. There's a lot of Italian meats that I don't know about. And it intrigues me. Mm-hmm. Gets me excited. But I have they have sandwiches on Mondays through <laughs> thir- Fridays, and they, uh, they, they their favorite sandwich, the best sandwich they have is the porchetta one. Have you had that? Mm, I don't That's remember. That's like the two different got. types of hams. It's a, Yeah, it's like roast pork and then like wraps and something. It's pretty nuts. Like cap- and, oh, they cap- had cooler, cola, yeah. cap- yeah. cap- yeah. cap- cola, or some yeah. shit. It was so good. <laughs> and it, it was Danucci. Like, oh, and I learned <laughs> if you call ahead, you can get in without having to sit in line. So we just skipped the line and people looked really upset at me as I walked by them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was totally rough. We went once yeah, and there was, there was kind of a line, but we stayed in there. It's small, but you can like go in the back and there's like a table like this, like a strip poker table. And you can drink red wine out of like church camp cups like little plastic church they're from it's church really camp cool. that's what i feel like but yeah it had a very very homey feel it's to also it. one of those restaurants where it's really like it's like a narrow hallway of a restaurant yeah <laughs> like, yeah like, like you guys are saving some money yeah, yeah it's, it's so good it's and really it's good, very though. popular delicious it made you feel good it made me feel really good that's i went to a really cool taco place where did you go yesterday by uh the jai tai Oh yeah, was Taco. it Tacos Chukies? That's what it was. Tacos Chukies. So I didn't mean to punch best. you. No, it's okay. I'm not a bear. I've that never place been is really there. good. Yeah, Tacos Chukies is a, a solid place. The, the only problem I have with them is they close kind of early. They close at nine. Mm. But it's a really good taco place. Is it, what, what, how does it rank as far as taco places for you? Hmm. Tell me about it. Hmm. This is a lot of the show. Oh, it's up there. 
It's, it's up, up there? there, yeah. Can you sure. think of good. like what your favorite food place is right now? Chipotle. Just oh, hands you down. are at Chipotle. <laughs> you like, you big Chipotle fan? I do like Chipotle. Yeah, I absolutely love it. Dude, Chipotle. That's the thing is, I, people get upset about chain restaurants. I'm all about them. Like, if you like a chain restaurant, good for you. Some people are like, good for you. Yeah, I'm really into Chipotle. Yeah, it's good, man. It's good they stuff. They don't have queso though. Does that I don't. You? I don't care. You don't fuck with queso. No, I don't fuck with queso. Girl, you crazy. <laughs> 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 wait, wait. You don't like that slow melted nacho cheese nope. that's gonna kill me one day? Nope. You don't like that? No. Nope. <laughs> it's my favorite thing in the world. It's my favorite thing. In the world. Um, you told me in the car you grew up in Wisconsin. Wisconsin, and then you went to Minneapolis. Went to Minneapolis. Minneapolis <laughs> is like one of the best comedy cities in the, the best. country. You think it's the best comedy it's city? The, not even. Cl- no, it's uh, it's great. It's not. I don't know. Whatever. Who knows? It's the best. But uh, it's great, man. Have you guys have you been there yet? Mm-mm. No, you have not. I got stranded in the airport one time there. Did you? Recently. Yeah, when I stayed the night. Should have called Mall me. America. I should have. I yeah, got in late yeah. and I should have gone somewhere. But you know what I did? I ate pizza in my bed. So that was. That a boy. That a boy. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you just feel that way on the road. <laughs> <laughs> Want to snuggle with this pizza? Uh, pizza whatever. in the bed kind of mood. Huh? I feel like there's been a boom in stand up everywhere though, as far as the amount of people that are doing it and the oh, amount yeah. of indie rooms that are popping up. And yeah, that's definitely. everywhere now. It's the great thing too, because you can go to a town and you can just find someone to stay with. Like it's there's so many comics there that are like I got a couch. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and there's stages everywhere, like yeah. open mics, indie shows. Um, yeah, man, it's great there because it's like small enough where there's not a billion comics, but there's four clubs and there's Acme. So you have like work, right, yeah. and then you know you can, so you can get real spots. You can and with Acme, you can get national attention as far as like the agents can come through, and you know like Montreal will come and look yeah. at guys and com- uh, last comic standing, all that stuff. So yeah, man, Dude. it's a good place. Yeah. Okay, it's a lot like here. I feel like Is you guys kind of have a similar a thing going bad. on. I think I don't know. Is Minneapolis, Minneapolis is like is it big? Is it it's like spread out? Like is the city limits really? Well, big? it's the Twin Cities, right? Oh, so yeah. we have those two. They're combined. You think you're so much better than people because you have two yes. cities? <laughs> but, uh, yes, but yes, we do. <laughs> you know, so there's like with the whole metro area. I guess it's three million people, something like that. Oh wow! Yeah, That's a lot of time. I How big is Seattle? Seattle's probably around the same size i guess you know what i have a computer i can yeah, just google this right yeah. now Ready let's see how well, let's have correct a guess. what do you, you think are. how many how big is seattle Ooh, i don't know what do you what is your guess four million well are we doing like just seattle proper or are I we think doing we should go oh, yeah. with a seattle proper population is that what does that mean exactly <laughs> <laughs> i asked it a seattle guess, proper not it knowing all the way up seattle to like shoreline means. right but not shoreline and then down to renton because you don't like include Tacoma in this. Like, no, no, right? no, no, no. Or Bellevue. Uh, right, because no. we have five just, clubs, but only two the of them are in Seattle proper. Oh, so the yeah, city yeah. of Seattle goes all the way up to Shoreline and all the way south to White Center is the area that's included in this. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So that what means nothing take? to Steve. But nope. <laughs> but what's your guess, Steve? Uh, 2.3 million people. All right, how many do you think? I said four. Four million people? Yeah. Oh, you guys are nowhere. If I hit one, if I prices righted you, I would have gotten it so quick. <laughs> I would thought like it was like two million, three million. It's six hundred and fifty-two thousand. Whoa! It's pretty small. Yeah. Yeah. But that's just like the in that's Seattle. The right. Seattle. Yeah. That yeah. includes. I mean, it still stretches from North Seattle all what the way. What is King it's, County? It's like uh, what's King County's population? Yeah. All right. I feel like that would be a better measure of the. This, this is an exciting podcast. Really oh, is. King County. We're population. doing laundry. We're doing laundry. We're taking a census. We're doing all <laughs> sorts of and bears punching faces. Uh, punching <laughs> faces. <laughs> bears punching faces. That's bear not what happened. That would suck Flashlights. So bad. Let's go. Keep Two going. million. Two million King County. So I won. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I won. Yeah. I win. So the Twin Cities are better. Fine. Fine. No. Four. Yeah. I won. Are you ready to take a quiz? Yeah. You feel it? You, you, you excited to feel like I picked a quiz that I feel like is a lot like you. Okay. <laughs> yeah. You ready for Those it? Those are the quizzes I like taking. You feel like this is, so yeah. we take a stupid the kind of quizzes quiz. that define me as a person? Yeah, it's like, really going to tell you something this about... This is stick so with you for maybe the rest you didn't of your know. life. Okay. So it's All a right. life-changing... Which badass fictional princess are you? <laughs> are the options fictional only those two? or Badass is it, are there princess? More? Which badass fictional princess are you? 
I don't know any fictional princesses. Well, we're gonna find well, out you're gonna find Snow out. White, I guess. Like, yeah, like that kind of. But we're gonna figure she's, out who you she's are. She's not a bad. Oh, though. so I don't know. I'm not supposed to answer. They're gonna answer they, that I'm for gonna, me. We're gonna do some multiple choice gonna, questions. And it's you're more gonna of a survey it. about it. your yeah. life, and then and that's really, gonna tell really us. The dumbest one is the one I'm gonna be. Yep. The dumbest the badass. Dumbest ones? You think the dumbest badass <laughs> princess, the one that's wearing helmets and running in the walls? Which one is that? Okay. All right, you ready? I am. Choose a place to live: an old-fashioned house, a cottage in the woods. A medieval house, oh. a forest, and a big expensive house, or a tree house. A big expensive house. A big expensive house. I don't want. A, I don't want a creepy palace thing. It's creepy. I chose the yeah. forest. Yeah. Chose so the you forest. Guys know. I'm choosing choose a tree house. house. I want a fancy tree house, right. but I'm choosing. A tree choose house. a superpower or ability: immortality, yeah. telepathy, element control, able to talk to animals. <laughs> I just want to use the force. <laughs> Or I don't need powers. I'm already powerful enough. Ooh, get it, girl. Ooh, oh, girl. Man, what do you feel, whole... girl? So with the immortality, are you am... hot the whole time? Or do you get old? I think immortality, you, you look the same age the whole time. Okay. Let's say it's Elven show. You look the same age the whole time. I'm going immortality. Man. Immortality? Yeah. I chose the force because you can stay together with the force and live forever if you use the force strong enough. Okay, cool. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> so the whole badass part is uh, really, really going out the door. Cool. <laughs> I didn't realize there was right and wrong answers. No, well, there isn't right and wrong <laughs> answers. <laughs> what did you what choose, Monica? I chose immortality oh, as well. Cool. Oh, wow. Choose a movie. <laughs> be a forever. Knight's Tale with Heath Ledger, Gladiator, the Hobbit, Frozen, Pacific Rim, or Avatar? What the fuck? I chose Gladiator. Frozen. You chose Frozen? I loved A Knight's Tale. It's a good movie. It is a good movie. It. I love it. You know my favorite part of A Knight's Tale is, is where it just goes into the weird David Bowie dance scene? Yeah. <laughs> That's the best. <laughs> Golden years. I love jousting. Oh, jousting's exciting. Yeah. I went to... Do you know if you guys ever heard of this Dorkfest, the Renaissance Festival? Yeah. Mm-hmm. They're all there's, over the place. Have you yeah, been there's to one, one by us. And I've been, I went once. How was because that? Because I only wanted to watch jousting. But then I didn't let myself, you know, realize that it's not going to be real jousting. They're not going to actually... No one's Hit dying. Each other. No, one, <laughs> no one's <laughs> dying. That was Steve disappointing. Steve said, I wanted to see blood. Yeah. <laughs> just put it down. Where's the guy that has the jousting. illegal iron fist on the end of his jousting rod? Is that what it's rod. called? <laughs> let me see your jousting rod. So it's just got a flashlight on the end of him. <laughs> <laughs> but I did try to buy my girlfriend a corset. Oh, yeah? yeah I that made girl? her try one That on. pushes up people's boobers. Isn't that what corsets do? And it sucks everything in the middle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so like that's part of the sales person that was helping us pick out the corset was like a, like a teenage kid. Oh, that's right. And fun. he was just like all over my lady's boobs. Like, like all right, like pulling her shirt back and stuff and like, put, like pushing <laughs> them up. And, like, I really to felt uncomfortable. Like, what is going on? <laughs> <laughs> what is happening here? <laughs> Stop are you the boobs. are you guys hiring? <laughs> 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 All right, this one Monica is going to know a lot about. You have to choose a Game of Thrones character. I don't know Ooh. anything that about you like or just choose any one. anyone that you is want. That Daenerys why you? Targaryen, she's the dragon queen. Sansa Stark, all her family's dead. Daenerys Targaryen out. is not the. She's the queen of dragons. No, she's not. That's Khaleesi, dude. Oh, the Daenerys Targaryen and Khaleesi are the same person. Oh, okay. What? So sorry. How dare you question my <laughs> I don't know right anything now. about that. Ygret, which is the redheaded yep, girl. Yep, that's me. That's mine. You're the re- you're uh, I love redheads. She's great. She's so awesome. Jon Snow, Cersei Lannister, or Marjorie Tyrell. Those more, those, all these names mean nothing to Monica. What? Sh- who should I pick? Jon Snow. Sure. Jon Snow is why I picked. Who Snow's, is he? He's, he's a total badass. Okay. Yeah, he's sexy. He is Into very that. sexy. And he's like... You don't know anything, Jon Snow. <laughs> 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 That's what Egret says yeah. to him. Yeah. Oh, you great. know nothing, Jon Snow. And then she shows off her boobs. She's a wildling. Mm-hmm. She's like a wild person. She lives on the pig wall. Rent. She's just crazy. She's crazy. She, she doesn't fights. Fuck. Yeah. She doesn't care. Good for you. Mm-hmm. This is a scene Girl. in that show where they talk <laughs> about cunnilingus. It's really interesting. It's really interesting. Do they really? Yeah, she's like, do that thing with your mouth again, and she points down to her like her vagina. Crotch, yeah, her vagina. Doesn't she tell him that he, she's gonna cut off his pretty cock? <laughs> yeah, something like that. Is there that, a yeah? lot of naughty scenes in this oh, there's show? There's a lot of naughty scenes in that show. You would like it. You said you like your action cut with sex. Yeah, yeah. You there's really, a lot of sex. in yeah. Action really movies like. that don't have any sex in it, I can't. You and can't it's do not because I don't like action. I like action movies. I just need there needs to be Let's sex. See some tits. Let's Monica be realistic would love here. Game of Thrones, actually, I think you would love yeah, it. It's a okay. sexy show. It is a very sexy show. I've heard. I've heard sexual things. <laughs> well, watch it. We're sexy. Anyway, <laughs> right. uh, choose a mug. <laughs> this, is, this makes okay. sense. All right. This mug says it's caution too mug. hot to handle. Okay. Uh, this is what a feminist looks like. Okay. Uh, crazy cat lady. Okay. Like a boss. Okay. Tough cookie. I only look sweet and innocent. 
I only look sweet and innocent. Is oh, what I'm going with. Like a boss, because I actually have that mug. And I, I, use it at work. <laughs> I picked the crazy cat lady one, if I recall. Do you um, have a cat? I also my have that mug. I love cats. I, like I do cats. too. I like cats a lot. Cats are great. Yeah, I like them. I love. I love. Boo. I love, I love Chad Denick's cat. The Chad Denick. Mr. Tickle Bottoms. Second Denick plug on the podcast. What Chad, you're killing it today. I talk about Chad Denick at least once a day in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Just on a bus. Hey, you hear about Chad? <laughs> Hey, you guys see what Chad did? <laughs> He's crazy. Choose he wants creature. to take me shooting guns. Yeah, He's good, good. luck with that. He takes people, a lot of people shooting guns. It's exciting. Have you shot a gun? I've never done it. He oh. has taken a lot of people and not shot any of them yeah. yet. Yeah. So this, The survival rate's really high. Yeah. So I'm just, good. Uh, I just don't good. trust myself. I'm not a, not a fan. Andy Haynes went and he told me, he was like, I didn't like it. I don't like having that much power in my hand. Like yeah. I could kill someone. I don't yeah, like it. I just, shooting I, guns is interesting. I'm klutzy. I grew up with it. It's <laughs> not so bad. It is kind of. Inter- it does make you feel weird because you're like, this could kill somebody. But if you're just pointing it down the range and you just... No, yeah, obviously. It's very weird feeling when you fire it and it goes boom, though. It's like a like an adrenaline rush, you know? It's yeah, like all yeah. the excitement of exercising without having to actually <laughs> exercise. It's really great. That's <laughs> how I feel about drugs. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's the same yeah. way. I like feel like, oh, this is like a... A runner's high. It's like a runner's running. It's a runner's high. That'd be what it feels like to do cardio. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. It's a runner's high. Uh, <laughs> choose a creature, an elf, a werewolf, a dragon, an alien, a vampire, or a fairy. Why is a fairy so ugly? I picked dragon. What was the choose a what? An, a, a creature. No, an alien is a creature? An alien is a creature. Isn't that, isn't that, is that Cape? I mean, Check. Men in Black, too. The guy that was probably a werewolf. Because yeah. I'm already pretty hairy. Oh, that's not okay. <laughs> Where else are, are Monica, did you choose where usually the sexy reason? though, right? They're usually like a sexy guy that. Yeah, I chose dragon. Are you dragon? just going just from that one? He's mysterious. Guy. What's his name that plays the Wolverine? Hugh Jackman. But that's not really a werewolf. No, is it? That's but a in Twilight, oh, nothing Hugh Jackman. The werewolf is <laughs> the voice getting worse and worse as it goes along. <laughs> it's really Russian. Is that you getting it? You know nothing, Jon Snow. <laughs> I'll cut off your pretty cock. I'll Hugh. cut off your pretty cock, Jon Snow. <laughs> I was going to say, Hugh, what's his name? Hugh Blackman? Hugh, Hugh, Black- Jack- Hugh Jackman. Hugh, Jack- Hugh, Hugh Blackman. Blackman. <laughs> <laughs> Should be. He Hugh is Australian, though, and that'll, that'll do it. That'll do. That'll do, Australian. So what did you choose, Monica? I went with an elf. Is that oh. what we're talking about? Yes. Have you been keeping score on I am, answers? I'm, I'm keeping your answers, yes. Okay. Choose a celebrity. Lucy Hale. Who's Lucy Hale? Don't know. This Mm-mm. is Monica's realm. No. I don't know. Oh, Scarlett Johansson, Chris Pratt, Jennifer Lawrence, um, Jensen Ackles. I don't know who that is. Yeah, I don't or know Lady who that is. Gaga. I believe I chose Chris Pratt. Chris Pratt's the guy in um, Guardians of the Galaxy. In Parks and Rec. In Parks and Rec. And he was he played uh, Hattieberg in uh, in uh, that one movie about <laughs> the Oakland A's. Yeah. <laughs> sure, that's, Moneyball. That's oh, Moneyball. the one that people use. It. Was he? Yeah, you do you I've ever seen that. that movie? Yeah, I've seen it. Once. He's also yeah. in Zero Dark Thirty as a minor Oof. Navy SEAL character. I picked Lady Gaga. You picked Gaga. I picked Chris Pratt. Uh, Let me see him again. Lucy Hale, Scarlett, Scarjo, Scarjo. Oh yeah. I can't. Help oh it. my gosh! I think you're going to be really happy with yours, but we're going to go over ours first, and you're the last. I right, don't know right. how to say this. Uh, you want me to look at it? You got Princess Mononoke. You're a that's, tough cookie. That's an anime character that I don't you know anything about. What you are, She's got a fucking giant wolf, wolf as a pet, yeah. though. You're a tough cookie who feels more connected to animals than humans. <laughs> you love being surrounded by nature, and you're very protective of the people you love. That you is like, it's very accurate, I feel like. Really yeah. Even though you don't know what it is. Really <laughs> I got yeah. Princess Leia. Oh. Yeah. Your innocent beauty often allows people to think you're a pushover, but you're the total opposite. You're extremely determined and very tough. Nice. Describe. And I wear a white dress and I tape my boobs down. Nice. Just like in the movie. Nice. You got Xena Warrior Princess. What? She's the best. Let me read it. You let totally read it. won this. Yeah. Let me what read is it. this shit? You're quite the badass. You're a total whore. <laughs> and you're able to defeat your enemies with your terrible, disgusting vagina. <laughs> Wow, yeah, that's, yes, uh, that's, that's, I mean, that's, that's pretty, pretty accurate. It's kind of weird how accurate that was, actually. Uh. <laughs> Steve Gillespie, he's pretty funny, but he's got a terrible vagina. <laughs> terrible <laughs> vagina. <laughs> Stay away from it. Old Stay Steve away from it. Terrible vagina. Just Old warning Steve you. Gillespie. You know nothing, Steve's vagina. <laughs> <laughs> that voice is getting better. <laughs> <laughs> not doing it very well. Monica. Yes. Are you ready for a charity? Yes. Do you want to say the charity? Sure. Let's do it. I figured I would try to pick something for Baltimore. Okay. 
Uh, and the best I can find, the governor of uh, Maryland has put up a fund on their site. So it's like governor.maryland.gov or whatever. And you can donate. And it looks like United Way is doing a lot of stuff to help kind of rebuild and whatever. Salvation Army. So there's a bunch of other charities that are involved in this. But it looks like you can either volunteer or donate or whatever you want to do to help Baltimore. Is there anything, any charities or causes or organizations that you doesn't have to be like happening right now but that you donate to every year or you think is important you know when i'm you're at walgreens and they're like hey you want to give a dollar to whatever i do that yeah, yeah. that's what i do <laughs> the red I nose that ones shit. that's good and yeah. then when i Safe shop day. at my uh my grocery store back home you can put a res- your receipt in a little bin and that donates a few cents your to receipt? Whatever. To whatever. That's cool. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. Oh, fuck. I, I did have another one, actually. Maybe I should save it. I'll save it. You want to save it? Yeah. That's but I feel okay. like I need to be more... I need to be better about that. I need to be Because they followed me on Twitter. Dude, hey, uh, I got I should say what it is. Yeah. Oh, oh you can also do a, a stand-up for mental health. And I, yeah. Yeah. I could tell you more info about it, but uh, that tab's not open. So. Maybe we'll, uh, <laughs> Maybe we'll, we'll use those two. we'll talk about it next time. Are we finishing up? We are finishing up. Do you need to do your laundry still? Are you, like, I want to go to the bathroom. You want to go to the bathroom? To pee really bad. Okay. This ginger beer really got me. It really, yeah, got it really went right yeah. through together. All right. Well, you know what, Steve? You're great. You guys are great. You guys are great. great. You're Thank great. You so Thanks much, for everyone. being here. Thank Next you, guys. Next time you guys do laundry, record yourselves and send it to <laughs> us. <laughs> send it to us. <laughs> <laughs> tell us Bye-bye. What, tell us Bye-bye, what everybody. You are.